Good evening. With 2,683 cases and 25 deaths, including a child under age five in Hamilton County, the fight against COVID-19 becomes more urgent by the hour. Tonight, new data suggests the outbreak will peak on April 19th, with our state projected to see 159 deaths per day at that point. Governor Lee was briefed with these new projections this morning, which showed the state will need almost 15,000 hospital beds. Right now, there are only about 70 800 available. News Channel 5 investigates chief reporter Phil Williams obtained a recording of a phone call between the governor and state lawmakers as we learn more than 3,200 Tennesseans are expected to die from COVID-19. For days, Tennessee Governor Bill Lee has tried to project public confidence about the growing COVID-19 crisis, but on the phone with state lawmakers, he was more grim. What we believe is that the vast number of these cases are going to surge in Tennessee. We're going to have our biggest crisis somewhere between the next two to four weeks. And Just like New York has set up field hospitals, so too Tennessee is making its own contingency plans. This was the head of the governor's COVID-19 unified command. We're working with hospital providers and other providers to help build out, identify assets around the state, uh, and this, this includes... Um, convention centers, uh, rural hospitals, hotels, college dorms, hotels, hotel ballrooms, anything that we can find that's existing assets that we can get into quickly. And Lee acknowledged they're worried about having enough ventilators to save lives. We are in that process of counting, so we can't tell you the exact number. We have more than we do, but we're also trying to determine how, many, how much is enough. Uh, we're assuming we don't have enough. The other concern, whether there will be enough personal protective equipment for the medical workers. The governor admitted that is still a work in progress. 